players will have and carry on for the rest of their lives? I think in terms of the torch bearers, you know, this will be a very, very special day. It will be a day that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. And every time there's an Olympics, every four years, they'll particularly think back to the day in Rutherglen when they carried uh, the Olympic torch. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you look at the crowds that are building up out there and you see that the atmosphere that there'll be in an hour's time, if you're actually carrying that torch, it might it'll be a fantastic buzz and it'll give the person a real high, which will you not know, only last through today, but it'll be something that we'll always look back on and have a great memory from. Have you had a chance to go down and meet some of the crowds yet? Yes, I have. I've, I've been on the main street already and I've been about the other one. And you can sense that uh, real excitement is building up. There's been a bit of a rain shower, but I think it's passing over. And uh, I know. One of my daughters is taking part in the choir. She goes okay. to Calderwood Primary, and she was up from early this morning, all excited about it. So you get the, you get the sense of real excitement from the from the youngsters um, to the older Rivonians so, who recognise it as a real proud day. Is your daughter um, extremely happy to take part today? Can you tell us a bit more about what she's doing here in the main street this afternoon? Uh, my daughter Erin is part of a, a school choir at Calderwood Primary, which. Uh, is based uh, just, just up the road and sh there's going to be a number of local schools who are providing choirs and they've been down here since about half past one, they've been in the town hall and they'll be going out shortly to form a choir right in front of the town hall uh, they'll sing a couple of songs uh, before in preparation for the Olympic talks coming along which will really build the atmosphere up uh, and then obviously witness the talks going through uh, and sing another song so it's a great event for them to be part of, as well as those that are carrying the torch. Now, but remember that this flame is leading up to the Olympics themselves. Are you going to see any sport, or are you uh, just going to sit at home and watch it on the telly? Well, I, I, I'm a real enthusiastic uh, sports person myself. Uh, you know, I enjoy running, golf and football. Uh, I'd hope to be able to take in some of the football uh, events at London. Uh, I'm not going to London itself, but I always watch the Olympics. and. Uh, I think I'll particularly watch these Olympics with pride because they're within the United Kingdom. And I think also because you, you feel part of it because you've been part of this special day where the torch has passed through the other one. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Kelly. We're now going to play um, and the Olympic song by Mark Monson and KTB, and it is called Anywhere in the World.